Hey guys, how's it going? I'm excited about today's video. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to compare a carbon fiber guitar versus a traditional wooden instrument. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to do four different sort of little playing tests. So we're going to play these instruments back to back. Um, we're going to do a chord progression, um, a picking pattern, uh, sort of a more modern finger style piece with some tapped harmonics and stuff like that. And then we'll wrap it up with just a very basic chord progression. So that's what we'll do. Um, but in the meantime, let's take a quick look at the guitars. All right, so this is our first instrument. This is a Stonebridge acoustic guitar. So here it is. Uh, there you go. Just a nice classy looking Stonebridge logo. Um, an ebony fingerboard with some really beautiful inlays there. There we go. And just sort of a nice tasteful rosette uh, with an ebony bridge as well. Now, Stonebridge instruments aren't uh, as well known as, as some of the other household names, but certainly on par with the highest end of Gibson, uh, Taylor, Martin, those kind of guitars. And uh, Stonebridge is played by some of the best fingerstyle uh, guitarists in the world. So it's a very beautiful sounding instrument. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how the carbon fiber stacks up to this. Let's take a look at the rain song. Okay, so here is the carbon fiber instrument that we are going to be comparing against the Stonebridge. Um, this is a rain song guitar. Um, the fingerboard is graphite. Uh, the bridge is graphite. And the rest of the guitar, the rest of the instrument is sort of carbon fiber. And so you get this really, really, well, I think it looks really cool, um, sort of woven look. And on the back, here's the sides and here's the back. Um, yeah, you get this really cool sort of herringbone pattern. So it looks really neat. And uh, the back side here, they've sort of rounded along the whole edge of the instrument, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, and other than that, um, construction-wise, there's not a flaw on it. It's just really, really well made. I'm very impressed by it. Now, if you're interested in an instrument like this, um, there's probably a couple of reasons. One is they are impervious to swings in temperature and also swings in humidity. So um, that doesn't affect the instrument at all. It's very, very stable. And uh, if you can see, probably you noticed in the reflections here, <laughs> it's very cold out, uh, it's very snowy, and it's, it's really hot in the summer where I live. It's really, really cold in the winter where I live. And I take a guitar with me three to four times a week outside of the house. So that's where an instrument like this really shines. Um, but the question we're gonna ask today is, how does it sound? because that's obviously hugely important when you're thinking about buying an instrument. So let's get onto the playing tests and see how, uh, how the rain song compares to, uh, to the wood guitar. All right, let's take a listen.
Thanks so much for watching you guys. I really appreciate that. Hopefully you found this video interesting and informative. Have yourself a great day and take care.